What's up, YouTube? Yo, gang, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about a new Smith & Weston, my latest pickup. I'm excited about it because I do not have a Super 30. A Super 30 is a hybrid between a 380 and a nine millimeter. So ladies, if you feel like 380 is not enough and the nine millimeter is too much, I've got the carry for you. So it is very similar to my last Smith & Wesson, which is my Shield Plus video that I did. Make sure you go back and check that out if you have not yet, but I'm bringing you another option. And here it is. Let's just run through the box quickly. And this is another firearm that has a crazy capacity. It comes with two magazines. It has one 13 round magazine, single to double stack, and a 16 round magazine. So you have 16 plus one and 13 plus one. Drop this magazine. Yes, am I correct? Yes, 16 single to double. Let's do a quick clear check. She's clear. Let me take a look for myself. She's clear. And here she is. Let me put this magazine back in there so y'all can appreciate this a little more. This is the 16 round magazine with the little extension at the bottom, as you can tell. Let me put in the flush mag, which is the 13 round magazine. So you can take a look at that. Now, preferably for me, um, I don't care too much for the pinky hang off. So I uh, would probably enjoy shooting with this magazine a lot more. All right, now in the box, let's put that there. We talked about the magazines. You have your lock and your manuals. Pretty much that is it. And like I said, they are pretty much exactly the same. My um, Shield Plus and the Super Carry as far as sizes goes. But I can tell you that I feel and wholeheartedly believe that this is going to be a whole lot of fun to shoot because it's not a nine millimeter if that makes sense. All right, so let's just run through this really quick. Um, as far as the entire, the length of the slide, it's a 6.1 with a 3.1 inch barrel. It is optic ready, so you can add your red dot on there if you want to add that. If not, you don't have to. I think that might be something that I might be interested in doing on here. And your you have your black trinium night sights. I don't want to point that in my face. And you also have your orange ring sight in the front. You have your standard Smith & Wesson serrations on the slide that allows and helps you to really um, wrap that slide pretty good. Let's see if we drop this slide, how that feels. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight, so we will see when we get to the range how that is going to feel exactly. Um, she is a striker fire. She has her polymer finish. She's also, um, what is it? Um, a matte, like a matte black finish, pretty standard. She has her trigger safety on here. The trigger looks like it's gonna be pretty good. I don't have an exact poundage for that, but when we get to the range, I'll let you know exactly how it feels. Her mag release seems to be pretty on point, which is a great deal. And her Smith & Wesson aggressive grips. Now, I can and have been appreciating Smith & Wesson grips on quite a few of my previous videos, only because of the conditions that it's been here in Florida. It's been super hot and very humid, so my hands have been getting a lot more sweatier than usual. So there was a quite a bit of times to where I really wished I had that extra aggression for my actual shoot, so I didn't have to keep readjusting my hands for that comfortable feel. Now this particular one does not have the thumb safety. That is your choice, your option. If you want the thumb safety, you can get it with the safety. If you don't, and this would be your option without the safety. Me personally, 
safety first, yes, but the thumb safety, in my opinion, it's just added frustration in the way, especially if you need to draw and protect yourself quickly. Um, yes, she's 19.3 ounces unloaded, so she does have a nice feel to her. She's not too heavy. Once we get those rounds in, again, I will be able to let you know exactly how I feel about her weight. She's tiny. She's tiny and I'm loving that. Smith & Wesson has been showing out definitely with these last two reviews that I've been doing with their firearms, which is the Shield Plus and now this 30 Super Carry. And it's nice. It's very pleasant to look at. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So, y'all ready to shoot? Let me go get ready so we can head to the range. Made it to the range. Ready. She got jokes. <laughs> Put my new range bag. gonna be as snappy as that but let's see it's very but it is a little snappy wow for this to be this size unexpected but the trigger is very nice very nice trigger. Let's 
snappy. There she is. Huh. Let me drop this slide for you because I think it is so pretty. Once again, the Smith & Wesson 30 Super Carry. Pretty neat. Nice, tiny, but she ain't come to play. Slide racked nicely. I don't know whether to say impressed. Ow. Shocked. This little thing has kicking like a mule, literally. Well, let's check these rings out, load up, and put some more down range. All right, I was hoping that the spring would have let up some, but it's not. It's going to take a bit or you have to keep them loaded to make that happen. But uh, let's bring this target up so we can see what we did. Huh, not bad. We know what he ain't going to be. <laughs> not bad. All right, let's get these. Yeah, that's very tight. So we got a hundred rounds of Federal 30 Super Carry American Eagle. And I can't get no more in that one. All right, looks like I was only able to get about maybe 13 in this one. And 12 in this one that is i'm not gonna bust my, <laughs> my knuckles up but anyway we're gonna set the target back and get the sheet go with the extended mag y'all know i like that one better go for headshot and i i, I can't believe it I was not expecting this much kick out of this gun. Not at all. It has a 3.1 inch barrel. With a 6.1 overall length. Oh! No shot out of that. What happened? <gasps> Smith and Wesson. Okay, it did not even load the round. Not sure what happened. Got rid of that round. What do you guys think so far? I got a lot to say. A lot. Okay. We have two magazines. That was a nice tap. The slide went forward on its own. Shells are bucking right in my face. Ooh. 
Wow. I am quite impressed with the amount of power coming out of this tiny little shell. I never expected this to shoot or have this much fire behind it. The barrel is small. It is a 3.1 inch barrel. So let me clean up and we're gonna go talk about it. This bag still makes me laugh. All right, so after shooting the Shield Plus and shooting this super, um, what is it, super carry, I am quite undecided or, un well, I can't even say undecided. I really don't know what it, well, I can tell you that I enjoyed the Shield Plus way more uh, because this is just so, so, so snappy and I don't know. I don't know if I would say yes you gotta have it because she gonna kick she is going to kick hard and to my opinion she kicked harder than the nine millimeter very much so she's clear let's do that check really quick so y'all can see that she's clear but i liked it i liked it again this is one of those situations to where i can appreciate the smith and wesson grip because it is aggressive because she was so snappy, I was able to control her better and actually keep that firm, tight grip on her. And I like it. I don't know, I might be leaning towards more of these aggressive. You like it or you don't like it? I'm talking about the grip. I'm not talking about the shooting experience. You done? Okay. The actual grip on the firearm. Now, I loved my Shield Plus. That was an excellent shoot. I had a great time with this, but this gives you so much. I mean, you can get it optic ready and all that other stuff, but this already comes ready. And it's very compact. It's very chic, concealable, and it, it has hella heat behind her. I like it. I would give, what would I rate her? I would rate her so, so would you recommend it as a, as a carry for a female? Something to throw in a purse? See, that's that's so hard to say. Because I, I, I feel like I want my word to be bond. I want my word to say, well, Yoki said it was good. And if you go get it, I want you to feel like, you know, you did the right thing because you enjoyed it, you know? So it, when it comes to that, as far as making the recommendation, I want you to, to be able to at least hold it. Before you go out there and you say, you know what, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Hey, I wanna get that and I want that and fill out your papers. I want you to at least hold it, feel it. If you have the ability to, um, I, I don't wanna say rent it because a lot of times the guns are not cleaned, they're not well maintained. So your experience might not be the best because they're not kept up. But if I had to do a, an option between the Super Carry or the Shield Plus, I would say the Shield Plus. All day Shield Plus. But take that for what it is, my opinion. But thank you again for joining me on another gun review. I had a great time. Y'all know I love coming to the range. If you have not checked out www.yogain.com, make sure that you do pick up a t-shirt, a gun bag patch. I got some stuff getting ready to go out. Thank show you, me, guys. Show me how you was holding that. You said you wanted to hold it. Show me how you... Hold it. Hold it. Hold this like that. <laughs> <laughs> hold it. Hold it. Like that? <laughs> anyway, 
Again, yo gang, I love y'all for life. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. I gotta let you go. If you didn't know, we were in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range. Check them guns out. We are at the gun range shooting guns. Peace.